Today I'm going to show you how I plan to fix these pans. Even though I own a sewing machine, I'm not going to rip the zippers out and sew new ones in. So what I've done on the sand pants, don't worry, i got a pair of shorts under here. I put a snap in. And I need to put one here and one here, so it'll be a total of three snaps. Now I'm going to show you how you do that. Um, you have to have a hammer. You have to have a hole punch. This one has uh, one, two, three, four, five six different sizes. You have to have the snaps, both the male and female. Don't worry, I'm going to use my Sony and I'm going to show you how all this stuff goes together. Then you have to have this thing. which I, I'm just going to call it a snap installer. It's got a button there, and then on this side, it accepts the, uh, the back of the snap. On the, on the front, and what this does is it smashes the, uh, the snap if I can say that, which retains it. If you don't understand what I mean, open up your jeans, you'll see exactly what I mean. <clears throat> you'll see the center is curled over, that's what holds the snap on, and that's on the male and the female side. So, all right, I'm going to flip over to the Sony. All righty. Here is the male side snap button. Now, this goes on the inside of the material. This goes on the outside. And then you take this tool and you smash it down. This is where the button side of this thing works. You smash it down using your hammer. So then it'll be locked onto the material. This ain't rocket science, guys. It really isn't. Now, this is the outside. So you flip this over, and it's concave, so it accepts that in there. And then you put this in there. And that's got your little, let's see if I can find another one because I'm not going to be able to get that off. It's got that little ring in there, that little brass ring. That's what snaps it to that. Okay, then you take your punch and you beat it down over the material, of course, with the material wedged in between it, and that's how you do it. And you can pick this stuff up at a hardware store. Now here's the problem 
I'm currently having. So I'm having to rethink what I'm going to use. Now, you want to make sure you go on the inside of this zipper or this uh, stitching and then when you get over here <coughs> you're gonna have to go on the inside of the same stitching okay so give me a minute So it's basically going to look something like that. The sand pants were much easier, but as you can see with this, uh, what do they call this, a gusset? So I've got to, I've got to go inside the material to punch that hole. Now this material is, um, on the GTX Defender pants, is 1,000, 1,000 denier, which is its uh, um, strength against abrasion. These things are like razor sharp, in theory. So... Give me a second. I'm going to show you what happens when you try to use this hole punch to punch a hole. I'm squeezing that with all my might. I'm twisting and turning. All right, it cut a little hole on half of it. So now what I do is flip it over the other way. And as you can see, as you can see, I didn't penetrate all the way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knife blade and I'm going to put a pair of crosshairs in it on both sides. And that is how... I will get that stem on each side to go through so then I can pound the snap in. And then I won't have to play with these stupid zippers anymore. They'll just be snaps. I wish I had good quality ones like these. These snaps are awesome. All right, just thought I'd show you how how I'm going about this mess. The other side of the zipper is going to be even harder because I've got to stuff all that shit material inside these jaws so I can punch a hole, or I'm just going to have to use my knife and cut X's. But the Defender gear has... Uh, it also has ripstop in it. You can see the lines. So I'm not really too concerned with that. So I'm going to concentrate in, on getting the front buttons, the outside buttons on first. And then I'll worry about cutting holes for the uh, insides. Alright, that's how it's done. I think these are designed for leather. It would work much easier with leather. 
because leather's thicker. I've also thought about putting like a piece of wood under here, but I don't have any wood thin enough to do that. See, it, it barely even has created a mark on the brass. So, all right, that's what we're gonna do. Talk to you later. All right, I got that cut through. Now I'm gonna have to put you back in my mouth here. And now I gotta go down here on the concrete in uh, whack-a-mole. All right, two minutes later. That's how that works. So, then to the inside. The only thing you have to keep in mind is you have to line this shit up. Because if you, if you get them mis, misdone, then you'll end up with a, a bad deal. So, that'll be about it. Just showing you how it's done. Uh, for each and every one of you, you're going to have to figure out your own system for um, lining everything up and all that. But other than that, smash that down, and now I've got a silver snap on that one, and uh, I'll have the mail on this side, and then it'll snap. All right, talk to you later.